there's uh, some Diddy news here. Um, Diddy's uh, an attorney representing a woman who uh, basically accused Diddy of a sexual assault said that there is a high profile celeb who was present there at the time. Oh, damn. High profile. Ari Ariel Mitchell Kidd said that the incident occurred at a private residence in 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, when her client was drugged and then sexually assaulted by Combs and another man. The victim, in a state of terror, escaped to the streets where a neighbor intervened. Police report was filed, though it did not initially name Combs due to fear of retaliation. Wow. But okay. there is a police report on record of that incident that she's referring to. Damn. According to Mitchell Kidd, the attorney, these tapes are pornographic in nature and feature Diddy alongside another high profile figure. Mm hmm. Who could it be? This is this is uh, a, a part of an even bigger rumor that all the Diddy sex tapes and all the tapes from his house mm -hmm. are being shopped around Hollywood, being sold to all these celebrities so that they get them before the public gets them. But see, that would mean that the federal um, officials or the agents or whatever are brokering these because they have them. They have like, them. It ain't, it ain't like possession. it ain't like they out on out on the, at the flea market. Like these, Maybe these it's a are. Copy. These, but these are law enforcement officers. That would mean that the, the I mean. I mean, come on, no. I, listen, it I'm could, just saying. It could be. You know what it means. Yeah, exactly. If they out there selling stuff that's evidence. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's crazy. I mean. I and mean, that might help his case. Like, how you got my evidence out here just all on the Netflix? But, okay, so if, let's say the FBI has the tapes, right? They're not just going to release them to the public. They're probably going to be, you know, kept. We're never going to see them unless there's a copy of them that somebody is selling. Because I mean, copies copy. get out, but I mean, back in the day, like, you know, when the R. Kelly tapes was happening, yeah. people were able to, you know, see copies or whatever, a copy of a copy or whatever, but not, it didn't come from the feds. That's mm -hmm. just weird. Yeah. Um, the, um, the law firm that is representing uh, the cases against Diddy said they have over 50 new alleged victims new? of Diddy. Oh my gosh, these are not going to go away. Yeah. They're, they're going to keep coming. They're going to come out of the woodwork. Yeah. You talk about 16 years mm -hmm. of these people saying that he was a crime syndicate and dude, 16 years yeah, that's a lot. of crime. Mm -hmm. You're going to find a lot of people coming out now and talking about it. There's a uh, um another word uh just in I guess in the Diddy update cuz there's a bunch of stories together but it says he's no longer on uh any kind of suicide watch okay well that's good and he's been visited by his family he's waiting his trial brooklyn's uh, metropolitan De detention center a lawyer said he is focused and very strong he is concentrating on his defense and preparing for his trial ah true narcissist and like that battle, sir. in there kicking with kicking it with the ftx Dude, uh, the founder that took all that money. Oh, from that's folks. right. In the they in there kicking it because they're in the jail together. Remember Hold on, like they're cellmates. Oh, I'm mean, they're in there. I mean, I ain't saying they cellmates, but there they, he said the him and disgraced FTX founder Sam Bankman Freed are in custody in the same area in the detention facility, which houses about sixteen hundred inmates. So it's not like it's just them two. Oh, okay, but you know they probably. Watch my back. I watch yours. Who is the, this other celebrity? I mean, there's so many different oh, celebrities. We can't, we can't even. No, I know yeah, because there's, there's no so way. many different ones that have been very closely. I mean, going to all these parties for for it, years. Did, uh, yeah. and, and there's the, no way to even. I mean, I mean pinpoint. Yeah, you can't. It, you know, well, you who's can't bigger that. than Diddy? Because in the audio, she goes, "It's somebody that I would say is bigger than Diddy, more high profile than Diddy." It's still, bro. Like Damn. he's been around Damn. every type of person. There's no way to just blank, just spitball. Oh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you, it's, there's no way to do that. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I, I just I think that whole thing about hey, he is not. So, he they said they were doing it to protect him because people who are high profile go in there, they always get put under that watch. Yeah. So for them to take it off now makes all us conspiracy theorists now be like, uh oh. Yeah. Here comes the Epstein. Mm -hmm. that, that's what a lot of people are alluding to. Yeah. I mean, and it's not something you take lightly as a joke, but. After seeing the Epstein thing happen, or in, in or or us. not yeah. seeing it happen, right? You know, we all are kind of like, you know. How long will it be until there's a trial? Oh yeah, you'll be wow. Oh really? A super long time. I mean, I, I, listen, we we saw Young Thug get started, and that thing's been going on. I feel like it's been ten years. <laughs> yeah, for real. So it's, I I don't know how the Diddy case gets even yeah. in front of a judge before like. 2025. Mm -hmm.
Wow. And, and I mean, and that's just that thing's gonna last. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a long. Is that other a uh, court case still going on in in Georgia? The YSL. Oh yes, yeah. that's Hell still going. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take forever. oh, the judge just ripped the prosecution yesterday. It was yes. like y'all had the worst trial ever. <laughs> they go miss trial, y'all try. Okay. Do you think Diddy has uh, any chance of getting out on bond? No, because no. he he hired a bunch of new people to see if he could find to try to get out. If I was Diddy, I'd stop hiring so many people. <laughs> like, money, you gotta sir. make that money stretch, dog. <laughs> like I mean, you you ain't got you ain't got a lot. Yeah, yeah, but you got a lot, but you don't have a lot for this because that's the one. The one thing that is the equalizer is how much you end up paying those uh, those lawyers. Yeah, and you know, especially when you talk start talking about your whole life. So I mean, it's I don't think I don't think he's getting out on any kind of bond anytime soon. Mm. But that's your Diddy update. We can call it a puff date. Puff date. Yeah, that's a puff. That's your puff date right there. <laughs> Orlando and the Freak Show. Thank you guys for watching the video. For all things wild, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.